Hi, cruisers. It's Sherry, back with another Cruise Gear episode, and it's tech time. How's it going? I'm good, but sadly, I still have not gotten the lab coat I requested for doing these tech videos. But hey, I guess we just press on in the digital age. Yes, you heard it correctly. It's time for cruise tech. Yay! Seriously, though, this is a fun one. We had a comment from one of our awesome subscribers, JimJazz01. Yes, thank you, JimJazz. And they asked if we had any experience with a speaker with a solar panel. Well, we didn't, so my hubby decided to check it out. And this is what he found. The U-Moon solar-powered portable wireless Bluetooth speaker. We lucked out and got it on sale, so it was only about $23. Honestly, we didn't expect much from it, but after giving it some harsh family style testing, I've got to say, this little guy is pretty awesome. As you can guess from its name, it's wireless, Bluetooth, and solar powered, but it's got a bunch of other features that we think are pretty cool. It's dust and water resistant, which makes it the perfect beach speaker. It's way smaller than our other beach speaker, so thumbs up for packability. In fact, this is small enough to toss in a backpack. It's got this cool steel bracket that makes it super easy to hang and position just about anywhere. Let's take a closer look now. Up front here, we have the on off button, the mode button, then these are the volume up and down and the next and previous track combo buttons. At the end, we have the multi-function play pause and the answer and calls button. On the side, we have the USB charging port, a TF card slot, and a headphone jack. Now, I wanna go back to the TF card slot because when we first got this, we didn't know what that was. Yes, it looked like a micro SD slot, and that's exactly what it is, but neither of us had heard of the TF card technology. After we confirmed it was indeed a micro SD slot, we loaded up some tunes on an SD card and boom, it's party time. We had no idea this could do that, so yeah, bonus. We thought it was just a stream from your phone kind of deal. And speaking of that, we've had no problems with the Bluetooth. It paired quickly and range seems good. Certainly good enough for a cruise cabin. Now, what about the solar charger? Well, for us, it's exactly what we've come to expect. You have to look at the solar as kind of a trickle charge. It's slow, but it definitely keeps the device charged. It's certainly going to extend the play time when you're out at the beach or listening on the balcony with the volume low. Yes, we try to be mindful of other passengers. Now, the big question, how does it sound? Uh, I want to say it sounds great, but I'll add a qualifier so we don't mislead anyone. I'm going to say it sounds pretty darn good for what it is. Let's be real about it. It's just less than five inches wide and about an inch and a half deep, so you're just not going to get big thumping bass out of it. Overall though, we're pleased with the sound. Really, the only thing we don't like about this little gadget is the instruction manual. It's really subpar, but you see that a lot these days, and I suppose we'll all just have to get used to it and do the what's this button do routine. Now, you know, we weren't really looking for a replacement cruise speaker. But thanks to Jim Jazz, we found one that we think is an outstanding value. Bluetooth, solar charging, water and dust resistant, a cool hanger, an SD slot. Oh. And I almost forgot it can do the speakerphone thing. All that for under $30. Again, I think we got it for about $23, but the normal price is approximately $26. So thanks, Jim Jazz. As always, we'll put an Amazon link to this on our site, cruisetipstv.com. If it looks like something you'd be interested in, then head on over there. Thank you to all of our wonderful subscribers. And until next time, get in gear and get cruising. and follow us on Instagram, please.